Come to me, came to me uh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, we met and he came in and we talked about having him um, bring a group in and demonstrate the cross and the significance of the game and how to play the game and so forth. And he's also uh, introduced me to Scott uh, Patterson and he is also the uh, head coach and also um, he runs the club, the Seattle Supersonics of Lacrosse here in West Seattle. How have the kids received it? Uh, you know, Robert's a really great instructor, um, and so is Scott for that matter. Um, the kids definitely were very interested, um, they were very motivated, and uh, learning the rules and the uh, background, the history of the game was, uh, was very, uh, uh, what it was, was very inspirational uh, for them and uh, getting them motivated to play the activity. Pull it! <laughs> Louder, guys. Pull it! <laughs> Pull it! <laughs> Pull it! <laughs> Hurry up, Connor! All right, so I'm trying to promote health and wellness. I'm also trying to promote the tradition and history of the game. Do you guys remember some of the names for lacrosse? What are some of the names? Okay, raise your hand and I'll call on you, okay? Right here. Little Brother of War. Okay, can somebody tell me why it was called Little Brother of War? Wait, raise your hand, remember? What is it? Say again. Okay, they use it as a substitute for war. Okay, another name for the game is what? What is it? Creator's game? All right. So why was it called Creator's game? Back there. Yeah, it was meant for a prayer. Oh, based on it, it was meant for a prayer to bring people together with one mind, body, and spirit. What was another game for it back there? 
medicine ball or medicine game? Yeah. What What did they used to do when they played the game for, for its medicine? Raise your hand. Pardon me? Nice. Yeah, they would actually play the game to heal people. Okay, now, what we're going to do today, we're going to play a game that's played in a circle, okay? My expectations were that the kids uh, would um, learn a lot more about their history. I, I knew the cross was a native uh, created game, and so I was excited that they were going to get some exposure to something that had more of a cultural dynamic to it. Um, I've noticed a lot uh, within the school that the kids have seemed to kind of lo have lost their culture a little bit. And so I was, I was really excited to have Robert come and kind of share more of the history and the importance of, of their culture and kind of where they've come from. And, and um, I definitely learned a lot about the game and, and, and Native history uh, just from the few uh, sessions that Robert did. So it was a, it was a big eye-opener. 